welcome back to another episode. As you can see, this is a little bit different to our usual. We are not in the boatyard. We are in Istanbul, Turkey. Why are we here? Well, stay tuned and we'll tell you all about it. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Getting our sailboat ready for the next adventure has been our main focus lately. But when an all expenses paid trip to Turkey comes knocking, well, it's hard to say no. So we put the tools down, said our goodbyes to the kids, hopped on a bus, flew to San Francisco, got to snuggle with our nephew for a bit, and then embarked on the 13 hour flight to Istanbul, Turkey. The reason for our journey, we were invited to attend the prestigious Bosphorus Cup a renowned sailing race that attracts sailors from all over the world. From the moment we arrived, the hospitality was top notch. Day one, we found ourselves watching the boats practicing from our very own private yacht. How cool is that? So behind me is Asia and this side is Europe. So we're actually crossing between Asia and Europe. In Istanbul. It's crazy. On the Bosphorus, Bosphorus Straits. I like your ride today. Enjoy all the spread set up just for us. And we weren't the only ones. We got to enjoy this with some amazing people like Matt and Jessica from MJ Sailing, Hana from Hana Sailing and Max from Untied. In the afternoon we explored the European side of Istanbul where we visited the iconic Hagia Sophia. Unfortunately we didn't have enough time to see inside but we did make it to the fascinating Basilica Sistan. Once providing water to the Great Palace, it stretches 140 metres long and holds up to 80,000 cubic metres of water. The Sistan's 336 marble columns, many repurposed from ancient Roman sites. This underground marvel is a powerful reminder of Istanbul's rich history. That evening, we were treated to a Michelin star dining experience at Merve. The dessert? It was to die for. Seriously, it was next level. Oh, yeah. oh it's so good. <laughs> really good. The next morning started with a yoga class right on the water, led by the wonderful cat. She definitely put our sailor balance to the test. After that, we hopped back on our private yacht to catch the first day of the Bosphorus Cup, which took place near the beautiful Prince's Islands. It was such a stunning day out on the water. First day of the Bosphorus Cup, we've got all the boats behind us, they're about to start their race. We're right at the start line. Okay. Alright guys, what do you think about the hospitality so far? Amazing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> the Turks know how to do it well. They're taking good care of us. Care. <laughs> we're just. Yeah, do you, do we look like we're <laughs> classes we got. What's going on? Three classes. Ninety-five boats. Ninety-seven. Seven. No, he said he wanted to like cut a couple off to like just keep the number. There's, he has to make it more elite, otherwise two hundred boats would be here. So he had to make a cutoff somewhere. Now today we're at Prince Islands which I did find out they don't have any motor vehicles. Either you ride a bicycle or you take electric buses around. But tomorrow the race is actually on the Basras River. Starting line is at Kempinski Palace, which we will be watching from. They will then head north up to the second bridge, come back down. But what's cool is they were able to shut down traffic to tankers on the Bosphorus River for tomorrow. So at least the racers don't have to worry about that. It's a very different lifestyle to what we're used to. What do you mean? <laughs> well, this is not how yeah. we roll, but you know. Yeah. Last night I almost posted the video of us 
when we had a crew of five all eating out of one pot. Like, <laughs> and I was gonna <laughs> should I, I should have done should that. Have. Yeah. That it was a great. it's a funny video yeah. too. So this guy here is carrying Lee's shoes. <laughs> he left them on the boat today and they just got delivered. <laughs> this is where we're having dinner tonight. Can't take you anywhere without you leaving things. It's usually me actually. That's yeah. a surprise that you did it. After another fantastic dinner, we ended the night with a moonlit rowing session. A magical experience before discovering a hidden gem of a spot to dance the night away near our hotel. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over Today we had the incredible opportunity to watch the race from the luxurious Palace Kempinski. Matt, what's happening? Oh my gosh, we're just about to see them uh, spinnaker run from the beginning. So a strange race, different approach. Just rounded the corner, seeing them, just left the palace, which has been amazing, and now we're on another yacht. Unbelievable life. Truly an unforgettable experience. and a massive shout out to the amazing guide, Azu, and the wonderful sailors we shared this adventure with. A huge thank you to Go Turkey for making us feel so welcome. Okay, we are about to check out of our hotel and move on to the next one. We came to Turkey, we came to Istanbul for the Bosphorus Cup. We got flown here, just being sport rotten. This is our hotel Istanbul. that's apparently uh, 200 years old. It's quite nice. It's very beautiful. Got a charm to it. I'll take you inside. Come on in. This is where we've been. We are all packed up because we are about to check out. We just had a walk and got some Turkish treats for the kids before we we've forgot. We've been treated so much we had to get the kiddies. Anyway, we're going to another hotel. We were supposed to fly back this morning, but we've had a change of plans and just stay with me. We'll tell you in a moment what those change of plans are and why we're staying in Turkey longer. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've arrived at the hotel, we got here before check-in time, so we've been sitting in the lobby nearly falling asleep because we're so tired. All out of whack from travelling, but we, we get about maybe three, four hours if we're lucky. Oh, nice. Very nice. This is our room. All right, so we got to our hotel yesterday about two in the afternoon, it was a bit earlier, and we came up and Lee laid down on the bed and that was it, he was asleep <laughs> until I, I don't know when he woke up in the middle of the night and I lay down about four and I was the same. So I'm pretty sure we just caught up on our sleep from the last four days. The last four days have been jam packed and we've been probably getting three or four hours on average a night. We had time to sleep but because of the jet lag, we'd be waking up at ridiculous hours in the morning and not being able to sleep through. So yeah, last night we could, probably had about 12 hours or longer of sleep and it's, it was very nice. And then we just went down and had breakfast. Why are we still in Turkey and why didn't we get on our flight yesterday? So we've just come into town and gone for a walk. We just had a donut kebab for lunch and then we're just having some baklava. So good. And yeah, we haven't told you why we're still here, but we're about to. So just wait when it's a little bit more quiet and we sit down, we'll tell you all about it. So we're ready to tell you why we're still here. Well, I'm, I'm ready, at least still getting dressed. But we just went through a walk through town that wasn't 
far away we're on the Asian side now of Istanbul Lee's gonna join me why are we still in Istanbul well we finished up with go Turkey so go Turkey flew us to Istanbul to go and attend the Bosphorus Cup yeah so we were supposed to have left by now our plane has well and truly left yesterday we are in the hands of another company now called EMP clinics so long story short while we were here we remembered that we got an email sent to us a few months ago from a company and we kind of didn't follow it up because it was to promote something here in Turkey yeah and we didn't ever see ourselves <laughs> coming to Turkey mm -hmm. Istanbul in particular but while we were here so the email was about promoting this company and this company is um, they do dental work they do a whole heap of medical procedures and it's more along the lines of like plastic surgery hair implants um, so before we go right into it where we are in Turkey for anyone that doesn't realize this is actually a massive hub where people come to get um, clinical work done so so who's getting what done what would you do and with before me? you comment all the comments on all the work that I should have done it's not me <laughs> <laughs> the reason we reached out to them again was because we needed some dental in particular Lee has a broken tooth yeah that's really really bad and it's been broken for a while and I thought well hey let's reach out and see if there's a possibility that 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 Lee's tooth could get fixed funny story this is really funny can I tell this part go for it okay so I emailed this company I get a whatsapp it all comes together like within minutes I emailed them she emailed back and then I got a whatsapp whatsapp message um, saying that they'd love to collaborate they'd love to have us what do you need done and we would love to offer uh, some free procedures <laughs> And at the time we were about to fly out in two days and I said, oh, we really just need some dental work. And they were like, great, we can do your dental. Next message and says, just between you and me, your husband really needs a hair transplant. <laughs> That's so funny, I missed miss something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is not something that's ever crossed. <laughs> what are you talking about? Either of our minds. We would have, like, Lee's happily gone bald. I love his bald head. Anyway, we're talking, messaging back and forth. And, and I said, look, we've got this ticket booked. And I, we, I'm, I'm really sorry. Thank you for the opportunity. But unless you can extend and pay for us to fly back, we can't stay um, for anything. We've got, to, we've got to go. We've got to get this, this plane back. Anyway, we went back and forth and this company was super lovely. They're like, we're going to book you a hotel. We're going to get you transport and we'll fly you back to the States when we're finished. Can we give your husband a hair transplant? In return, we're going to make videos about it. So, you know what? We hey. decided. <laughs> this is an incredible opportunity and... I know there's a lot of guys out there that wouldn't miss the opportunity, including my brother. Ta -da. <laughs> so we have yeah just we really kind of trusted this company we let our our plane fly away without us and we're now in another hotel and we're having an appointment in about 45 minutes we're going to take you guys along and show you the whole process and like walk you through everything <laughs> So they, we did do a little bit of research on the company. They are one of the bigger ones. They've been around for a long time and they have done thousands and thousands of transplants and amongst all the other things they do. Then they started asking, they said like, is your love life quite all right? Like they do do surgical procedures and I was like, well, you know, everyone like an extra inch or so. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and gonna sh are you going to share that? <laughs> I think they want this in exchange for videos. Oh, they want to show before and after. <laughs> we're not that sorry, kind of guys. channel, sorry. <laughs> so hopefully today we're going to get so our teeth. We haven't been the dentist for years and Lee's tooth broke oh, a year ago. 
Yeah. It's already had a root canal and everyone keeps telling us how dangerous it is. We did go to a dentist in Mexico, but Lee didn't feel comfortable enough to, to get it removed there. Lee wanted to keep his tooth if he could. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what they say, but that was the reason why we're staying longer. And yeah, the, the hair, this is just the icing on the cake. <laughs> But anyway, they can do lots of other stuff. What do you suggest that Sarah should look at oh, getting done? Is don't there say. anything you think? I have a facelift on <laughs> Sorry to disappoint everybody, I am not having any surgery. Anyway, oh, someone's ring could be our driver. Hello. So random. Hopefully, Lee doesn't want to back out because I don't know how we're flying home if he does. I'm a little bit nervous. Here we go. There's actually one thing I didn't think about. What if I decide to not go through? I just said that. that we're stuck procedure. here. We're stuck here. I'll have to get a boob job. See that, yeah. The clinic examined his hair follicles to ensure he was a suitable candidate. Uh, you know, or don't know, it's quite enough to cover. The process involves transplanting hair follicles from the back of the head to areas where the hair is thinning or missing. Luckily, Lee had enough healthy follicles, so they were happy to proceed. Can you make your eyebrow up? It's not kind of thing that we get used to. It's your yeah. first time, so it's quite normal for you to feel the step under pressure. Yeah. But it's a normal procedure. We have done it over uh, 10,000 times, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, on, you, you can feel yourself comfortable. Okay. <laughs> Is that painful at all? Actually, I don't do a I'm not going to say a lie. You're going to feel pain. Yeah. In, Five minutes when we start to do the operation in the extracted part actually uh, you will feel the pain in five minutes but that's all yeah because you know we have to uh, use some uh, you know kind of equipment to make you ready before the operation because yeah. no need, you, you shouldn't feel anything while yeah. you do the operation so no need to do it <laughs> <laughs> this is the most entertaining part and how long is the procedure how long will it take? Uh, in planting part? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, approximately six, eight hours. Okay. okay. Not gonna take too long. I had a meeting yeah. with the, the surgeon, that's him here, and asked some questions and kind of got a rundown on what's gonna happen. And I think Lee's a little bit nervous, but he feels comfortable. Elan gave us a tour of the facilities and the care and professionalism were five star. All right, so that room was where Lee's gonna have the operation, or a room like that. So Lee's yeah, in yeah. the dental chair now, yeah, so they're gonna have a look. He has yeah. got a well, broken tooth in the back. It's been a little while now, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me check. It's a little bit dry, man. Dry, 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 dry. Yeah, on your uh, tooth. So, uh, it's two options. We extract your tooth and put the implant. Second option is, uh, little bit uh, saving your tooth. First choice is second option. Always we can do the implant. It's happy to go with the cap on that one. So. Yeah. Oh. Uh, upper side the gum to so clean it. Okay. If you clean it, you feel better. Okay. Hi everybody. It's day two. We had a consultation yesterday. Went to the clinic, met everybody. And uh, today's the day. How are you feeling? I must admit, I'm a little bit nervous. I've never done any sort of changes to my body as such. But this one, I think, I think it's a good choice. <laughs> Plenty of hair on the back and to move it forward, so I've uh, got a normal hairline again. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fun and interesting. I Look, think most people- Worst case, if I don't like it, I can just shave it and run the style I always do, but yeah. you know, I might be able to get the odd hairstyle out soon. It's funny, every time we tell someone or talk to other guys about it, they're like, yeah, why wouldn't you? <laughs> so. Yeah, it's obviously not an option for everyone that's going bald. My hairline's just receded a little bit, but I've got plenty of hair on the back. Under the microscope there, you could see three and four hair follicles coming out of each. So today we're going back. Lee is having surgery. It's going to take between six and eight hours. Mm -hmm. And so while he's doing that, I asked if I could have some dermatology done. Yeah, this little <laughs> hit of Botox no. there. Oh, it was really there. funny. We're in the office and I said, oh, is there anything that I could have done while Lee was in there? And I could hear, because we have a translator, I couldn't understand what he was saying, but he said, so blah, 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 Botox. And I was like, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> Botox is, no, uh, that's not for me. And then he said something about fillers and I was like, no, 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 maybe just skin. So something for my skin. <laughs> Get rid of the sunspots, the sun damage. I'm up for that, but I'm not up for um, Botox or any of those things. Great for other people. I know that lots of people do it. And Good for them, but I, it's not something that Come I want to do. Come on, I want to be called Ken and Barbie. I'm going to get some hair. <laughs> do you think Sarah should get like maybe just a couple of squirts? I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. People will go, of course, get a Botox. Look at your wrinkly old face. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want it. You know what? I love my, my lines and my smile and I don't want to change how I look. That's okay. Yeah. I love my face. I love it too. Thanks. But I am all for getting some skincare and like freshening up my skin and getting rid of some sunspots and things like that. I'm Old sun damaged yotties. They yes. need a bit of skin treatment. Had a lot of sun over the years. So I don't know what I'm getting done today, but they, I do have an appointment with the dermatologist this morning. So that's exciting. I think the most daunting part for me is I'm not, I'm not sure on a lot of things because I was sort of put on the spot. We've got a translator and I was like, you know, when you're sort of having a consultation and you're like oh shivers what questions do i ask obviously the basic ones but then now i've got back and i'm like oh i didn't ask this i didn't ask this but upon not asking so many questions i was having breakfast this morning and i looked over behind and this guy's got a bandage on the back of his head you could see all the implants at the front i was like oh no i'm gonna have to hop on the plane like that in a few days so made maybe, it very real. Maybe a little bit uh, embarrassing and yeah, it didn't make it feel real. It is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> I wonder if I'm allowed to like put my hat on over it. Oh, well, that's a question you have to ask. Yeah. But we had, it's funny because we approached these guys. I mean, they initially reached out to us and then we reached out to them because we wanted our dental done. And we had some dental work done yesterday, but Lee didn't actually get, we had, would have had to stay here for a week to get the proper dental work done for him. So it's kind of funny that, you know, we really only wanted some dental work, now he's getting a hair transplant. <laughs> but hey, that's how, that's how yeah. our life seems to roll. <laughs> we may be back for some dental work, so we'll see. I'm so weirded out by this whole thing. It's like not even real that you're we're in Turkey and you're getting a hair transplant. I it's never, funny because we, really we said we were going to was... Turkey, but no, but other people have. We said we were going to Turkey and people were joking about, oh, are you going to get a hair transplant? Yeah. And it's just hilarious that yeah, here we are yeah. and it's happening. It's not in a million years would have I thought that you were going to get a hair transplant. <laughs> so crazy. Our life's crazy. Like it is. I didn't ask questions like... How long until I can wear a hat? Like, can I wear a hat on the plane after well, a couple a of days? He's a hat guy. You guys know this. I don't think many people have seen him without a hat. Mmm. And I wonder if he'll still be a hat guy after he has a hair. Yeah. Is it because you don't have hair that you wear the hat? Probably. Ah, oh, interesting. It's go time. Firstly, had a blood test and a physical exam to make sure he was fit for the procedure. We will pass to you extracting parts. So we will extract the other from your back of your hands. Yeah. So uh, after that, uh, there will be opening. Once cleared, the surgeon took his time drawing the perfect new hairline. A lot of effort went into getting it just right. With the hairline set and Lee happy, it was time for the big shave. How are you feeling, honey? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Now this next part was tough to watch, and even tougher for Lee, who's not a fan of needles, but he handled it really well. Okay, I'm gonna go because I don't want to watch anymore. <laughs> but he's in good hands. I'm gonna go have a nicer treatment, hopefully. God, that looked really painful. It's pretty tough. I'm about to go in, and I'm in this beautiful lady's hands. All right, so I just had a really lovely facial. It was very nice. And I think I'll go check on Lee and see how he's going. Painful? No. That's no. So good. How are you going? You're good. I had a facial. Yep. Does my skin look nice? Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready for round two? You had a break? Yep, had a little break. Had all the hair removed from the donor spot at the back. Now we're going to start putting it at the front. So apparently there's a couple of hours to go. Pretty painless. The only bit of pain, obviously, is with any procedure, the local. I could feel that. Um, but once that went in, pain-free. Felt 
a couple little bits here and there and he just dosed it back up and yeah, it, it was nothing. If you can take a local needle, um, that's, about, that's about all the pain was. It looked a little bit more painful to me. <laughs> Well, there was a few locals, obviously you got to cover such a large area, but no, that's fine. So far, so good. A couple hours to go. What's it look like, Sarah? Just this little dot. Is there a lot of blood or...? Yeah. There is, yeah. No, the quantity of the graft is in totally 4,046. So it will be quite enough to cover all of the tiny area, probably. So. If you ask me, so the result will make him satisfied, quietly. <laughs> He's had a lot of hair. He had a lot of hair at the back, which was a good thing. So you got to be for the next 10 days, honey. <laughs> yeah, okay. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You may fix it, the box. Yeah? <laughs> you don't see it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel good. I just feel a little bit tired, but yeah, I fell asleep a couple of times. Nice. But no. It all went well, apparently. Yeah. Being tired is quite normal. Yeah. By the way. So okay. When you get rest, yeah. get the you know, hot off. Okay for you, yeah. we will take the photo of the result. Okay. Nice to meet you. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Take care, okay? Yeah, will do. <laughs> thank Goodbye. you, bye. You're welcome. Alright, so we're in our transportation back to the hotel. Yeah. Lee looks a little different. How are you feeling, honey? Oh, look, I must say it's different to a day of boat works, but um. And he just told you you can't do any boat work for 10 days, which. I oh, know, we're really itching to. We're really what, under the pump. Me, especially, because we've got all our rigging, obviously. But I've got to R&R. It's going to rest for 10 days at least. Yeah. So that's okay. We're going to be here another three days. Yeah. And then we'll take a day to travel back. So yeah, he's probably got about four, four days, five days resting at home in the yeah. boat. Mm -hmm. It's going to kill him, but he's got to do it because he just went through all of that. It's such a bizarre thing. <laughs> it's so weird. So they took all the hair from the back of his head or some of the hair from the back of his head and put it on top. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that it's his own hair. And oh, yeah. yeah, they're pretty oh, sure and certain that it's all gonna be great. So yeah, they were pretty happy, and they were like, from what they've seen, with how yeah, okay. my back of my head's always been really thick. Um, they were happy. They were like, there was, should be no problem. So I've left Lee in bed. So he needs to rest after his procedure. Anesthetic hasn't worn off yet, so he's not sore or anything, but he's just relaxing and I am in search for some food. So just gone for a walk. I think we saw a place on our way in here, so that's where I'm heading. But the food here in Turkey is incredible, so I can't go too wrong, I don't think. All right, I've got food. Here he is, he's doing okay. How did I do? A pied. I've got pieds. This is a meat one and a vegetarian one. And a salad. I gotta try and keep myself, you know, like maybe something like this. Just sleep pillows. like that for 10 days. For the first night at least. Keep yourself like on a 45 and up. Wow, sucks to be you. The side sleeper too. Yeah. They said don't sleep on your side, so. Yeah. Oh well, we're in for a good night. Well, I am. Let's get into this food. Eh? Where are we going? So we're going for our first wash. So I had the procedure done yesterday and now we're going to have a clean up and see what they think. Clean the morning after. Feel alright? Here we are, it's day two. Uh, I've come back for a wash and they'll inspect it and see how it's all gone. Let's go. Thank you. step that we show is quite important yeah. because you will have to apply for yourself once yeah. you back to your country.
So apparently Lee's pretty tough compared to some of the guys that get this done. Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. So tough. <laughs> 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 well done, honey. Is she good at the Thank you. <laughs> A big thanks to the team at EMP Clinics for taking such good care of us. They organised everything from transfers to hotel and made the experience seamless. Since Lee was getting a brand new head of hair, I decided to treat myself too, though in a much less dramatic way, with a simple haircut. Yeah, thank you. Looks good. Day three, I haven't been in any pain. I definitely haven't slept the com most comfiest. I've got to sleep at like a 45, sort of how I'm sitting like now with a bad neck pillow. There's a lot of swelling today. So day three to five, they do say there can be a lot of swelling and you can see it's come down sort of one side more so than the other. It's actually been creeping down all morning. Hopefully that goes away and everything feels all right and it's all looking pretty good. The, the first 10 days is the hardest. Probably gonna have a little walk around town today. So where we are is on the Asian side of Istanbul and the spice market is on the European side. So we are going to hop in a ferry, go across the Bosphorus and go and see the spice market. Let's go, honey. Bring that fabulous swollen head of yours. <laughs> tickets but we could have just walked up to the gate put our card on there it was 50 lira but we ended up buying this city pass <laughs> because the guy um we asked the guy at the cafe and that's what he said to do so anyway we're on the boat and we should be heading off very soon and then we're heading over to the spice market Nestled in the heart of Istanbul, the Spice Bazaar is a sensory delight, a vibrant fusion of colours, aromas and flavours. As we stroll through these historic corridors, every corner bursts with the rich fragrance of exotic spices and the enticing scent of Turkish delights. Here piles of dried fruits, nuts and an endless variety of teas tempt the senses. From the tangy hibiscus to the calming chamomile, the dazzling display of Turkish sweets from the soft locum to honey-soaked baklava is simply irresistible. The bazaar isn't just a market, it's a journey through the rich tastes and traditions of Turkey. You want more love? Why? You have enough? Give me a little. Uh, how much can you have? <laughs> That's the love juice. What's enough? All loved up. Love juice. We are in the Spice Bazaar in Istanbul, Turkey. And Busy. It's colourful, it's beautiful, and there's lots of yummy teas and yummy treats. This statue is dedicated to the Hamal, which is the traditional name for porters in Istanbul. These porters were known for their incredible strength and played a vital role in the city's trade and commerce carrying everything from spices to textiles. The statue is a tribute to their hard work and the important role they played in Istanbul's bustling markets over the centuries.
honestly, I would do it again, but if I'd seen my footage, I probably would have been hesitant. I think the most beneficial thing that um, for Lee, because this was such a last minute, okay, are we going to do this? We didn't, he had no idea what was going to happen. It was very unplanned, and so we didn't research into any of it. We I knew, researched it, I the knew enough that I knew enough that we had a good clinic, a good yeah. reputation, and they'd done a good job. And that was sort of but the, the main thing for me. The actual procedure, we had no idea what was about to happen. And then we didn't think about the recovery, and we didn't think about <laughs> these things. So I think maybe if Lee knew what it involved, he may not have gone through with it. Because he's not he doesn't like needles. Well I don't like needles. That's a big thing for me and you definitely do get your fair share of needles. But we found out his pain threshold's pretty high because apparently a lot of other guys yeah, they complain a lot and they don't they the guy the guys there were like, Wow, this this dude's tough, so Here you go, honey. Tough guy. Just, just tough at, guy. Just good at covering it up, darling. Yeah, I know, I could tell. He, <laughs> I could see his, to, his toes were curling when he was getting the needles in his head and he was very uncomfortable. But he doesn't like to show that side of him. <laughs> he likes to be tough. You handled it very well. It was yeah, pretty full on. It Watching was. it from the outside, I was like, oh god, that's. But in saying that, it's also super cool. Like, he's going to have his hair. And it's all just thinned out the back and moved it to the front. It's a pretty So I actually have really procedure. thick hair at the back. So even though I used to shave my head, it was always so thick at the back. And there's a lot of people here getting it done. There's every yep. morning at breakfast, there's at least three or four with bandages on. So yep. they're pumping out the hair transplants yep. over so in Turkey. To give you an idea, I don't know exactly prices, but I think over here you can it can range from like three to five grand, I think. I think in the United States you might be up around 10. Is that right? 10 to 15? Or? We go it a little bit. We can. We don't know exact prices. I mean, if you go onto the clinic, you can onto the website. We'll put the website and the link down below and you can check it all out if you're interested. And if you just yeah want to go and see what it's all about, then they have more information on yeah. there. And so it's day four, honey. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm on the mend now. Like it's um, the swelling starting to go down. I did have a lot of swelling around my forehead. There's usually a lot of um, fluid that sort of runs down, and some people you end up looking like the elephant man. It did anyway, a little bit like that yesterday. We actually walked around town. We did a little bit, maybe Sarah a little bit too to much. Show me off as the elephant man around town. Which well, it was our last day. We had a whole day, yeah, and we couldn't waste it. We wanted to see some of the things that we missed out on. And I'm so glad we did. We had such a nice time yesterday. It was really great. Yeah. Just wandering around the city and eating food and just seeing what the place had to Yeah. To spice offer. markets. Ooh. Spice markets. We went into a mosque. So many little teas and treats and Turkish delights and you name it. You can just nibble away all day long here. It's, it's awesome. Okay, that's the end of our Istanbul adventure and the end of this video. I must say... It has been uh, really fun and I hope it's been as entertaining for you guys as it has for us because it has definitely broken up our boat works. We'll be back to into the boat works we're heading home today. To say we've been spoilt here is an understatement. We've been treated very, very nicely. So we're about to go back to reality. Yeah. The kids of uh, Bella's pulled the boat apart and one of the sanders died so she hasn't been able to finish what she started. So we're going to go back to a little bit of chaos. Yeah. But that's okay because we are so close to getting back in the water now is just uh, these last few projects. Unfortunately, this guy's got to rest up a little bit. Doctor's orders, um, 10 days. No strenuous work, no sweating, no getting the heart rate up. Light, light duties. Yeah, and we'll probably be a little bit jet lagged. We really love visiting Istanbul. It's a great city to come visit and the food's amazing. The people are lovely and yeah, we've had a really great experience. So until next time, thanks for joining us and we're about to hop on a plane. We got an 18 hour flight. Oh. Well, first flight, we're Nasty. flying 12 hours, I think, to New York, then New York to Phoenix. So about 18 hours of travel. We should be back in Phoenix in 24 hours from right now. So we've got a long day ahead of us, but we're not complaining. We've had a great time. Thanks to Go Turkey and EMP Clinics and... If you guys are interested in seeing any more of Lee, I really, really cut down the hair transplant video. If anyone wants to see like a really detailed... Yeah, if anyone is interested, I'm happy interested. to run over um, a lot of the process. And we do have a lot of, like Sarah says, uncut 
Um, stuff that'll have you cringing. Um, so if you don't mind a bit of blood and needles and all that sort of stuff. If you want to see it, let me know in the comments because yeah. I can put something together. It's Definitely looks gone. scarier than uh, what it was. I personally, it was a pretty easy process really. Like I say, the worst thing for me was probably trying to get comfortable the next couple of nights sleeping, sleeping where you got to be on like a 45. Thanks for watching this video. It complete, was completely different to our usual videos, but and we hope you enjoyed it. A bit unexpected at our end too. Absolutely. You know how we live. <laughs> It's crazy. I hope we captured that, that, you know, the spontaneity of this whole trip and this whole thing has been a bit of a whirlwind, but yeah, thanks for coming along with the ride. Next video? See you in the next We're one, back guys. At it. <laughs>